Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about what a VPN is. But before we get into it, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you by Private Internet Access, which is a VPN. They are one of the best VPNs out there with over 3,000 servers in 28 countries. Freaking insane. Tons of connection locations. They offer unlimited data no matter which plane you go on. And they are affordable at just $6.95 a month on their monthly plan. And that goes down if, let's say, you buy a year at a time or something. So check out private internet access that is the first link down below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more incredible tech videos where we explain stuff and just figure out what things are. So that's what we're doing in this video. So let's go ahead and talk about what a VPN is. Well VPN is short for virtual private network and back in the olden days VPNs were used by office workers and things like that to access files in their office securely and remotely. So let's say they're at home or across the world, they can use a VPN to access their office without worrying about security and things like that. And for a long time, that's what VPNs were used for. But as time has went on, people are caring more and more about their online privacy and online security. So now there are many reasons to use a VPN, from just generally protecting your online security to entering credit card information to even using your computer at Starbucks or a hospital or something like that on an unsecured network that who knows who has access to all of the data going through that. I mean, anyone connected to it could get it, so you want to be able to protect yourself. A VPN can do that. It can also let you access region-locked content. Let's say you live in Europe, and there's stuff on the American Netflix that you want to watch. Well, you can go and log into American Netflix and watch it using a VPN, but you couldn't do that if you didn't have one. You can also do things like torrent and things like that easier with a VPN, but I don't necessarily recommend torrenting, but for those of you that do it, VPN is a great idea. No matter what though, you can use a VPN to hide and protect yourself online, whether you're doing things like, again, using your computer in a Starbucks or torrenting a movie. Whatever it is, you can use a VPN to protect yourself and hide yourself online while you're doing it. Now, how does all this work? Well, a VPN takes the public network that you're on or any network that you're on and turns it into a private network that only you can see the data going into into and out of. For example, your home is typically a private network. You don't have to worry about someone you don't know having access to the data going through your home network. However, out in public, as we mentioned, at Starbucks, at a hospital, at your local library, you don't have control of who is connecting to that public not private, network, and who's seeing the data go through it, right? Anyone can access all of the data going through a network if they have the right tools and the right know-how. And that's why it's important to protect yourself when you're out in public. A VPN does this by creating a secure tunnel between your computer, right, and your device, and your destination on the internet, right? Wherever you're going, the website, the email that's being sent, right, their server that's sending that email, it's protected through the tunnel the VPN creates. This tunnel is created by first verifying your device with the VPN server. That server then uses one of several different encryption protocols to make sure that everything sent between you and the website you're using, the service you're using online, can't be monitored by anyone. And if you're using a good VPN service, even the VPN provider doesn't know what you're doing online. It does this by creating a tunnel, as we talked about before, which is basically like taking a package, putting it in a box, and sending it to somebody. Typically, UPS doesn't know what is in that box, but it goes to the person you want to receive it. And that's how it works online. The, the VPN, the traffic, the data that's being sent out or pulled in can't be determined until it reaches its destination and is decrypted slash opened up in the box analogy. Now, there are seven different VPN protocols that a VPN could be using, but the main one that you see VPNs like private internet access, Access, Tunnel Bear, ExpressVPN, and many others using is open. VPN. This is actually a combination of a few different types of VPN encryption protocols. Specifically, it uses SSL VPN for session authentication and IPsec encapsulating security payload over user data protocol for a secure data transfer. So you're using two different methods there, one to authenticate your session and who you are, and then one to transfer the data to where it's supposed to go. And basically, I know that was a lot of tech 
IPsec jargon there. What's IPsec? What's user data protocol? What's SSL VPN? Well, in its most basic form, and those of you who actually know in depth about what those things are, are going to probably be annoyed by what this is, but most people don't need to know more than basically SSL VPN protects you when it verifies your device. It protects you on that first level when it's kind of saying, okay, this is the device I'm protecting. It uses SSL VPN for that. And IPsec protects the transfer, getting the data from you to wherever you want it to go and whoever you want to receive it. It does this all through that middle server. So when you send data to that server, it then sends it out to wherever you want it to go through that IPsec transfer. Something else about OpenVPN, by the way, and I think it's worth mentioning, it is open source, which is great because people can use it as they want and it's constantly being updated and constantly growing as an open source project, which gets a thumbs up from me. Now there you have it. That kind of boils VPNs down to a very basic form. I'm going to provide some links in the description below for those of you who want to learn more about this stuff. But the thing is, I didn't want to make an 80 minute video here. This is a basic explanation and if you want to go buy a VPN and use it, you now know exactly what it's doing to make it happen. And the one I recommend is Private Internet Access. Check out the first link down below to get an awesome VPN for just $6.95 a month, unlimited data, over 3,000 servers in 28 countries. Absolutely incredible. Again, that's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash PIA, which stands for Private Internet Access. If you do have any questions, I'm more than happy to uh, answer them in the comment section down below. And you can check out my top five VPN recommendations by clicking the I up there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible content exactly like this every single day of the week. Again, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.